Hi, I'm Phyllis and my website is southernfrugal.com. I want to do a little really short video and um, show you all the importance of sifting flour before you make a cake or before you measure it. So we're going to use, we're just going to do one cup. Now I'm getting ready to make another cake and I'm going to do a video on that, but I wanted to show you all this. All right, so we got our sifter here and you can get these on Amazon. Mine happens to be a stainless steel so it doesn't rust. And we're going to use some soft, soft silk um, cake flour, but the same thing would hold true with all purpose flour. So, first I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is measure out one cup directly from the bag. I'm just going to smooth it out. So if you didn't measure your uh, flour, this is the way you would do it. So we're going to dump it into the sifter now. Remember we measured it out just straight from the bag. Now we're going to sift it. And this would again hold true with all-purpose flour too. Okay. Got all the flour sifted now. Now we're going to measure it back and get one cup again. By just spooning it into the cup. Alright, now we're going to take the smooth edge of a knife and just smooth it right out. Alright, we've now got one cup of sifted flour. And look how much we got left. Let's just get that in a cup and see how much we had left. In fact, that looks almost like half a cup to me. So I'm going to take a half cup measure. I'm just going to dump this into that half cup. Spilled a little bit of it, but let's measure, uh, really scrape this out on the top. We got, with that I spilled, we've probably got exactly one half cup. So when you don't sip your flour, instead of having one cup, you've got one and a half cups. And this is the reason many times uh, that cakes come out dry because the flour wasn't sifted before measuring. Now I know that a lot of the newer recipes don't even say you should uh, measure your flour or sift your flour first. So if you don't sift it first and your cake comes out dry, this extra half cup flour is exactly why. Now if you have a cake like what I'm getting ready to make today, it calls for three cups of all-purpose flour or cake flour. So what I did is do this exact same thing. I measured out three cups straight out of the bag, sifted them, and I had probably four and a half cups. So that's the uh, real important to, to sift your flour, then measure it, even in newer recipes. Because so many times when cakes come out dry, you just take it for granted they're going to be dry. But most of the time, the reason is because there was too much flour. All right, I'm going to post this video separate. And let's entitle it, Why Should I Sift My Flour? Or something like that. We'll see you all next time. I'm going to get ready to make another cake. We'll be back on the next video. Bye.